Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm going to jump straight into this video. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a box braid closure wig. Um, starting out right here, I am attaching the closure to the dome cap. Um, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You just want to um, tack down the closure to the dome cap. You want to make sure that it's very secure. I usually stitch forward and backward a couple of times. And so right here, I'm showing you how to attach the hair to the dome cap for braiding, for adding the braids. You want to make sure that you use a very small um, crochet hook, one that's not going to tear the net when it goes in and comes out. If you try to use a bigger one or a regular size one, it's going to it's going to rip the cap. So, you don't want to use that. And right here is what it should look like when you get done attaching all the pieces of hair. And um this is what I like to use um mostly when I'm doing these wigs, it's lock in gel. I will attach a link below where you can purchase this. This is where the braiding process um, begins. And this is how the braids are attached to the cap. This is how I do it. Now, I usually do use the pre-stretch hair, but what you see me doing here is stretching the hair. Even though it's already pre-stretched, I still um, stretch it out a little bit more just to give me a little bit more of that tapered end and just to give it a little bit more length. And also, I use the T-pins to hold the braid stable as I'm braiding. Once I get so far, or maybe like if, if after I finish a pack of hair or a bundle of hair, I like to go ahead and braid down the braids. It's totally um, optional. Some people like to braid down completely. Um, I've been that way too. But now, um, I think that this way is quicker for me. I braid down about halfway. And then I just go back and um, do the ends. Either way is fine. Whatever works best for you. This part right here um, is very important to me. Um, I always go back and trim off any flyaway hairs that I see. If you use um, product a lot while you're braiding, it might not have as many as I do. Right here, I'm just showing you the progress that I've made. Okay, so this um, customer requested some um, pop of color. And so I always um, go in with the black and then I add the color in um, afterwards or as I go. So right here I'm just cutting the hair, the braiding hair in half um, because you don't need you don't need the long pieces. It's save hair and just cut it in half. You probably can even cut it into thirds. You just need enough hair to loop into the cap so that you can um, attach the braid to it. Right here, I'm showing you my technique that I use um, to make sure that the braids are falling kind of like in a bricklay pattern, even though I don't go in a specific pattern when I'm braiding. Um, but I still kind of um, make sure that they're falling in a way that they're closing in those gaps. 
and I kind of use my needle to guide me. Right here, same thing. Once I get to us, once I finish um, adding in all the colored pieces that I want, I go ahead and do those braids. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and braid those ends down. And this is what it's looking like once I've added in those color pieces. And I don't um I don't pack the cap with braids because you don't want it to be bulky looking or too heavy. So um Right here, um, I'm going ahead and prepping the closure part for braids. You can choose whatever type of parting that you want to do. Um, When I begin braiding, the braids that are um, on the edge of the cap, I kind of braid them closer. Not in, I don't braid them in the middle. I braid them like on the um, the bottom edge of the cap because once I finish, these braids are going to be sewn down to the cap so that the um, the cap and the closure edge isn't exposed. I'll have to show that in another video because I did not get that footage. So this is the final look. This is how it turned out. Um, my customer loved it. I love it. Everyone loved it. <laughs> um, I hope that this video was informative. If this is something that you want to try, I say give it a shot. It's really simple. If you know how to braid, it's easy. It's fun. You know, you can even make it, make a business out of it like I have. So thank you guys for watching um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.